Hi, I'm Mariela. Welcome back to Mariel Beats and Beyond. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful necklace. It matches with the bracelet that I um, made last week. And also, in my new channel, I'm going to be showing how to make a pair of earrings that is going to match the bracelet and, of course, the necklace. So, I hope you guys like this necklace and I hope you guys enjoy making it. The list of materials are going to be the same that we use for the bracelet. They're going to be in the description box. There's going to be a PDF um, tutorial on how to make the necklace. And there also is going to be a PDF on how to make the earrings. On my website, marielbeatsandbeyond.com, also in my Etsy shop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let's get started. The only difference you're going to see from um, the PDF that I'm going to make and also this tutorial I'm not uh, gonna do the back of the necklace um, this way. So, but on this tutorial, I wanna show you how to make it all in with the pearls on the back too. We're gonna pick up one six millimeter, one fifteen o. You're gonna repeat this three more times. This is what you're gonna have in your needle. You're going to bring them down. And you're gonna leave only uh, like one or two inches still, depending on um, how much thread you need to make your knots. I'm just gonna leave like one and a half. We're gonna pass through all the beads once again. Right here, we're going to make a knot. Okay, we're going to pass through the pearl. We're gonna pass through one seed bead and through one pearl. Pick up eight 11 O's. And remember, this time I'm using Mizuki, that's why I'm picking up eight. If I were to be using Toho, I will have to pick up only six. We're gonna sew through the pearl. And we're going to sew through the pearl. And we're going to tie this up. Okay. So now we're going to sew up through four. And through one more. Pick up one seat with 15 all the choir guardian and the clasp. 
and we're gonna sew through the wire guardian through the clasp This is what you're gonna have. And we're gonna sew back through the other side of the wire guardian. And this is what you should have. We are going to pick up one fifteen off. And we're gonna sew through these two. And this is what you should have. We are going to sew up through all the beads to reinforce. and you have your clasp um just remember on the other side you're gonna have to repeat the same steps pass through these three seed beads so through the pearl through the seed bead, through the pearl through the seed bead and the pearl and this is what you should have right now right now with this tail you can go ahead and make some knots around and cut it if it's on your way Pick up one seed bit 15, one pearl, one seed bit 15, one pearl, one seed bit 15, one pearl, and one seed bit 15. This. Bring it down. And we are coming out of this pearl. We're gonna sew through the same pearl. And we are going to reinforce this. You don't have to. Right now, we are going to pass up through this pearl, the seed bead, the pearl, and the seed bead. And through the pearl.
and we are in position right now to add our next box. This is what you shall have. You're going to continue repeat this step until you get 14 boxes. We have to pick up one fifteen o, one pearl, one fifteen o, one pearl, one fifteen o, one pearl, and one fifteen o. This you're gonna bring them down. And you're gonna, your thread is coming out of here, you're gonna sew through the pearl. And you're gonna, oops, sorry, we pass through the pearl. And we're gonna reinforce this again, so sew through all the beads. And continue repeating this until you make 14 boxes. And I'll be right back to show you the next step. I have my 14 boxes. Our thread is coming out of the pearl. We're gonna sew through the seed bead and the pearl. So we're gonna pick up eight. Remember, if you are using Toho, you're gonna pick up six only. Our thread is coming out of this side. We're gonna pass through the pearl one more time. And we are going to reinforce this by passing through all the seed beads. and through the pearl and then we can tie it all this okay now we're gonna tie it we're gonna sew up through five pick up one seed bead 15 0 one Monty, one seed bead 15 0, five seed beads, one pearl, and three seed beads. Okay. We're gonna bring them down and we are going to sew up through the five seed beads. And this is what you're gonna have. We are going to reinforce this by sewing through all the seed beads and through the pearl. If you are using Toho seed beads, you can uh, watch the video um, how to make the bracelet if you having problems with this because um, it is the same steps I just wanted to make this one with Miyuki so you can see the difference and we're gonna sew through the pearl and we're gonna pull tight And this is what you should have. Remember, if you have your uh, five seed beads on this side, the other five are gonna be right here. So I had to go this way. 
right now we are going to pick up pick up one seed bit 15 one pearl one seed bit 15 one pearl one seed bit 15 one pearl and one seed bit 15 After it's coming out this side, we're going to sew through this pearl. Okay, and we're going to pull. So, this is what you should have. We are going to sew up through five seed beads. If you are using Toho again, you can go check up the other video. And pull tight, and we're gonna sew through one more. Since we are using Mijuki, we gotta pass our needle through five. Okay. Before continue, you gotta make sure that this is your right side. Okay, so. You're gonna have your Monty facing you, and right here we got five on this side, and we got three on this side. So this has to be on this side. We want five on the opposite side. So pick up one seed B15, so through the Monty like this. We are going to pick up one fifteen and we are going to sew through these two. Okay, and we are going to pull. Fix your bits right here. We are going to sew through this beads once again to reinforce so through the seed bit through the monty and through the seed bit through these two seed beads Pull tight and up through this seed bit, Monty and seed bit. And up through all these seed bits. We're going to sew through these two. And through the pearl. This is what you should have. We are going to pass through the seed bead and through the pearl. And we are going to pick up one seed bit 15, one pearl, one seed bit 15, one pearl, one seed bit 15, one pearl, one seed bit 15. And after it's coming out of this pearl, we're going to sew through the same pearl. And we are going to reinforce this. So 
So right now we are going to pass up through the seed bit through the pearl. The seed bit and the pearl. We're going to repeat this step. So we're going to do one more box and then we're going to repeat these steps. We want one box to be separating uh, our Montes. So go ahead and make another box right here. Right here, I add two boxes. That's what you need to do. Right here, you're gonna sew through the seed bit and through the pearl. And you are ready to add your other monty so you're gonna repeat all the steps that we did right here right here then you're gonna add two more boxes and then add another monty until you have eight a total of eight monties if you need a longer necklace if you want to add nine monties that's up to you but I continue repeating this until you get eight monties after that you're gonna repeat and make another 13 boxes or depending how many you did in the on one side and that should be it for your necklace so when you're done repeating all these steps you're gonna have your necklace ready as you can see in this necklace after i finish adding one monty i gotta do two boxes so we can add a ne our next monty it's gonna be one box separating them so Remember this necklace is 16 inches long. So if you want a longer necklace, you gotta add more boxes at the end. I'm done with the tutorial for today. Just continue repeating those steps and then at the end you should have a beautiful necklace just like this one. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like my videos, share them with your friends. Uh, make comments either if you like or you dislike my uh, tutorial. Until next time, bye bye.